Here's an exercise for you to work through and consider to give us feedback when we meet in class or online in our workshop. It's looking at the whole notion of sexual health in relation to people with uh, learning difficulties or disabilities. Griffiths and Burns used in 2014 in the book called Teaching Backwards. Let's explore your KWL. What do you know about all of this already? What more do you want to know? And then, especially in our workshop presentation together, we can feed back and look at what you did learn. So it's what you know at the moment and what more do you want to know through your education? The first question for me to ask on your knowledge is what do you understand by the term sexual health? So if somebody tells you that they're doing a course or a session on sexual health or they work in sexual health, what does that term actually say to you? Uh, you could dot down your ideas on this and then give us feedback uh, when, when we meet. Looking at the term sexual health from a different dimension now, you were looking at it in a more generic or theoretical way. What does the term sexual health mean? But now just ask yourself this one. What does sexual health mean to you as an individual? Now, considering what you've said about sexual health in general and in relation to you, how do you think it might be important for people uh, with learning difficulties or disabilities, including the impact on their well-being and the types of relationships they may be having or the services and, and care that you may be providing? It will be really interesting to hear your feedback and to see how much of it has been said in a sex positive way because sadly in our society and cultures um, all too often uh, we, we tend to be sex negative or erotophobic and especially for people with learning difficulties and disabilities look at the ways in which um, sex is often not spoken to them at all as if by telling them will empower them to do things that others don't want.